Okay, hey y'all, it's Sunday night, 8.05, and I am so excited because I went to Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. Here we go. This is the Trader Joe bag, so I'm going to wait on some of y'all to jump on here and tell, so I can tell you why I love Trader Joe's so much. Hey, Ann, <laughs> you get to go to Trader Joe's because you go, I think you go to Atlanta. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. I'm not sure I've seen you on here before. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to tell you about Trader Joe's. Martha, you know about Trader Joe's. So I, well, I won't say I made the mistake because any time is a good time to go to Trader Joe's, but I went on Saturday afternoon. It was raining, so a lot of people were in there. You could hardly, you couldn't stir them like flies, okay? I took my little granddaughter, and you know, one of the things I love about Trader Joe's is they have the little buggies for the kids. Now, you have to watch your heels because they'll run over you, you know. But, uh, and the other thing, they have this hunt for the lobster, so she'll quietly go with me looking for the lobster. And if she gets the lobster, they give her a sucker and all that. But here is one of the other things I love about Trader Joe's. This is... Uh, what you get when you first walk in the door, these gorgeous flowers, uh, these hydrangeas, I think, were, I don't know, maybe $5.99. The Pussy Willa was $4.99. That's what this is. It's called Pussy Willa, and this is the time of year it comes, and I love it. I want to get a, hey, Chantel. Yeah, welcome. Hey, Michael. Hey, Gloria. Yeah, Gloria Clifton. Good to see you, Gloria. Okay. So this is what you get at Trader Joe's, one of the things. But here's some of the other things you get at Trader Joe's. Now this guy, look how he packed this bag, okay? They double bag, and I really should take my own bags because then I don't waste these paper bags. But these are really nice paper bags, kind of the kind you used to get when you used to go to Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, all right, so here's what I got, all right? So I'm just gonna take this stuff out. First thing was some organic Tuscan kale. And I'm probably going to cook that up tomorrow night, so stay tuned. Oops. Okay, the other thing is some organic, uh, let's see, they're calling this Cruciferous Crunch Collection. So it's kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red, red cabbage. So love that, going to make some slaw with that. Alright, this is called Organic Power Greens. So this is ready to eat and blend. So this is going to be... Uh, Let's see what all it's got in Baby kale, collard greens, baby, uh, I can't even read that, what it is. Uh, anyway, some chard. These, this makes a great salad with uh, some beets in it. I love this, okay? All right, and then I got some organic, just baby kale by itself. I just love to put that in a salad. You know what I recommend? In healthy keto now, this is not dirty keto, in healthy keto is that you have seven to 10 cups of leafy greens. And that's what's gonna, that's why dirty keto is not healthy because you're not getting your nutrients. But if you eat greens like I eat greens, I ate a whole cabbage in a day yesterday, uh, last week. I just sauteed it in the pan with some, a little bit of bacon drippings and uh, some avocado oil. And I ate on, I ate half of it one time and half of it the next. And man, I have the most energy. Look, it's 8 o'clock at night. I've driven all the way home from Athens. I went to church, played with my grandchildren. Uh, yeah, I went and got my lashes done. And um, yeah, so it was fun. All right, so I'm going to put this back because there's still a bunch of stuff in this bag that you want to see. All right, so I got my Kerrygold butter. Walmart, for whatever reasons, quit carrying these bigger um bigger pieces and it was a little bit cheaper at Trader Joe's. Usually it's not, but it's unsalted grass-fed butter. That's what you want to get. And I have read an article that Kerrygold says that their their cows are 80% grass-fed. They do in Ireland, they do have winter, so they don't always have green grass. So they do have to feed them some, but for the most part, they're grass-fed. All right, here we go. I did buy, and I know this isn't optimal for y'all that are in my program, but I bought some organic frozen corn, and I bought this because, it's organic, I bought this because I'm going to make some Brunswick stew, and you can't really make Brunswick stew without corn. Or I may even put it in some salmon stew that's on the agenda maybe for this week. So, uh, I did do that. Alright, so, 
Let me just tell you, if you're going to have dairy, goat cheese has less lactic acid, lactose in it than any cheese. Uh, so this is goat cheese. I love to put this in um, that Tuscan soup that I make. I can put it in uh, eggs. I can put it in quiche. I can put it in salad. I just love it, okay? So, uh, I bought some goat cheese. All right, these are organic red peppers. They were about $3 a piece. Organic, let me remind you that organic vegetables have 20 to 40% more nutrients. So, I'd rather pay a dollar more and have more nutrition and less toxins than to pay a cheaper price and get the nutrition and less toxins. So, I want more bang for my buck, but I don't want the toxins, okay? So there we go. All right, so in this little thing, now this is not organic, but it's Trader Joe's spinach artichoke dip. I bought this really for convenience. Let me just show you what it is. So uh, I could make this and I probably will, but this is frozen. You keep it in the freezer and you pop it out if you're gonna have a party. I, we had one of these on Saturday night with some siete chips. So it's got cheese and spinach and you know, it's pretty healthy, but it also has a lot of guire gum and stuff like that in it. So, that's not going to be totally optimal, but it is going to be a backup when I need it. All right, here we go. Uh, all right, let me take this out. So, then I bought some more cheese. So, I bought some goat cheese. They call this uh, cheddar cheese. This is made from goat milk, all right? And then this is just sharp cheddar cheese. These are all grass-fed beef, and um, this is from New Zealand wonderful cheese it's so so good i bought some wild caught uh this is argentinian uh, raw shrimp and red shrimp actually and these are delicious and james isn't a shrimp person so i'll take out three or four saute them in a pan with uh whatever else i want to put with it and they are delicious okay so here we go so i'm going to take um all of this out kind of at one time because I want to tell you what it is so you'll know. Uh, okay, and then my and then my treat at the last minute was a chocolate almond bar. It does have some carbs and some sugar, but it is organic, so I'm gonna enjoy that. It'll take me about three weeks to eat that. Okay, so I eat like a piece every night, two or three nights. It's just my treat. Okay. So, I thought I would try these. These are candied pecans, and now they're going to have sugar on them, but I want to taste them to get an idea of how I want to do mine, because I can do them with Swerve, that brown sugar Swerve, so that's what I'm going to do, but Leah had told me they're really good, so I just kind of wanted to taste them. I'll read the ingredients and see maybe something I can glean from that, but this is how you learn how to get things that you really like, okay? All right, so here we go. Here's what this is. This is raw walnuts. This is sunflower seeds. This is pumpkin seeds. And this is organic flake coconut. Now, what am I going to do with all this? I'm going to make some more, uh, I'm going to call it granola, okay? It doesn't have any grains in it, no oatmeal. It's made with nuts and seeds. Now, what's different about this? Okay, the seeds... I just want to tell you, the sunflower seeds that I bought at Walmart, and I've got them over there, they tasted a little bit rancid, and they had, they had sunflower oil in them, okay? These are just sunflower seeds, and I, I'm anxious. I'm actually going to, well, I can. I'm just going to open them and smell them. I can almost smell, yep, that's what I wanted. I want to make some more of that because that that I made, Although it was delicious, it had a little rancid taste from the oil that was in the sunflower seeds. So this is gonna be much, much better. It might be a little dangerous though, cause I'm probably gonna have to ration myself or give a lot of it away. But these are all things, this is, um, even pumpkin seeds, I found them to have canola oil in them. I mean, you don't wanna eat any canola oil, it's not healthy. But these, oh wow, that's gonna make some really good, nutritious, granola okay so stay tuned i'm gonna make that sometime this week not really sure um i shared the last a lot okay so tomorrow night you can't see this i know i'm gonna move this over right away so that's why i love trader joe's and they're so helpful there i mean 
the guy, you saw how he packed my bag, so I just have one bag, and um, they're just really, really helpful. They don't point you to the other part of the store. They actually take you and walk with you. Oh, by the way, I got some organic heavy, heavy whipping cream. Okay, so tomorrow night is going to be about varicose. I know you can't see what that is. Well, maybe you can. Varicose veins and why you have them and how you can get them, get them better. I'm not going to say cure them, but I'm going to say improve them and how you're going to prevent them and what causes them, okay? So come visit me tomorrow night at 8 o'clock right here. Now, I'm Dr. Nancy Stanley, physical therapist and health coach. And if you don't, if I don't have your email, give me your email because I'm going to be sending out health information. Uh, I sent out one this morning about how dance heals your brain. And I'm inviting you. I'm going to be offering some classes coming up soon. It's kind of a big reveal I'm going to be doing for March. So I'm going to be offering those classes. They will be online. You will be able to join online wherever you are. Okay. But, um, uh, so give me your email. Also, go over to YouTube and, and uh, subscribe to Dr. Nancy Stanley and click notifications so you'll know whenever I'm doing another, another uh, live video. So we'll talk to you soon. Have a great night. I hope your week is going to be fabulous. I'm planning on a very active, fabulous week, and we'll talk soon.